everyone. It's um, Tuesday and so far today I've forgotten to film. So just been to uh, my shop to get some tape and that. I am gonna start ordering it on, off of Amazon and that but I just haven't got around to it yet. Can't even get into my workspace. So uh just bought some Blu-rays now I'll show you in a sec. But um Probably won't make money on them, but I'll collect them as well. So the ones I think are okay, I've just checked. I bought, paid 2 99 for Toy Story for triple disc one, and uh, you can get them on eBay for uh, 3 49 but this is in really good nick, so I've got that one. Right, guys, this is take two at this, because I just did the whole thing, and then when I went to stop it, I realised I hadn't started it. So, I've spent 5 96 in Oxfam. It's really expensive in there. And what I bought in there was this. I paid up for this. Because we went to see Toy Story 3 and it's quite a good film. And obviously it's the last one. I paid 2 99 On comps on eBay, they go for 3 49 with delivery. So there's no profit in there or anything like that. I've got Terry Pratchett's The Hogfather. Because Terry Pratchett's quite a good one. I paid 99p for that. And I haven't seen it anyway, so I'll watch it first. It's got, what's his name, Mark? Can't remember his name, Mark, someone. My brother used to go and play poker with him at Pinewood. Um, Ratatouille Blu-ray. Paid 99 pence. I thought that was alright. Uh, quite like Ratatouille. Uh, and Wally, two disc set. 99p Blu-ray. So, a couple of blue. you know, if I sell the couple of little Blu-rays and Terry Pratchett I should get my money back so that's not a problem and then I went to my other one that I usually go to where I get the free for a pound I got this Porridge Complete Collection Series 1, 2, 3 and the Christmas one and they go for about 7 or 8 quid on eBay maybe a little bit more but I paid 2 quid for that but I like Porridge anyway so um, and then I got six DVDs for two quid. So I bought a 10 minute solution blast off body fat, new and sealed, because when I went in there the other week, I bought um, yoga for pregnant ladies one and it seemed to go all right. I got divergent and insurgent. So two discs in the same box. I checked all the discs, they're all good. So I thought that's got to be more than 33 pence. I haven't seen that film. I like Nicolas Cage, so if it's once I what if I watch it and then, then I'll bundle it up with some more Nicolas Cage. I bought this for 33 pence. I thought it was worth it. It's a light spitting image, and actually through the years I've had some of the puppets as well. My brother's had some of the puppets, um, so I thought I'd get that. That might go all right. I also I haven't checked comps on all of them. I just couldn't be bothered because at 33 pence a disc, a lot of pack. I've got this Night at the Museum and Night at the Museum 2 all in one and it's sealed. So I thought 33 pence or 33 and a third. That was good. And Dorian Gray, I'm not sure I've got that one but that is a good film. So yeah, I've been out and done a little bit of uh, shopping out to get some tape and that and some coffees. So yeah, that's it so far. I went to wrap my um, bowling pins last night and I realised I didn't have enough tape. So I'm going to go back now, get them wrapped and sent, get the single one wrapped and sent. And then this morning I've had one sale this morning, which was a baseball cap that I bought in my charity shop. I paid two quid for it. I think it's gone for 17 95 including shipping, which is good because I've sent out orders on it and they haven't been taken. So, um, and in me free for a pound DVD charity shop as well. I think it's, I think it's Scope. No, it's not Scope. What one is it? Oh, I can't remember what it is. Um, it's one of the massive ones. It's got loads of branches. Um, uh, well, most of them have, but this one's a huge, huge one. Um, they had a Sony Blu-ray player there. It was quite a nice one, but... All the panel on top was dented, so it was 12 quid. I was going to see if I could get it for a tenner with a damage, but I thought I'd give it a miss. Um, yeah, 
So I'm gonna get home, get the packing done, get all that block gone. And because it's such a crappy day today, it's absolutely atrocious. It's raining, it's horrible. I'll just I'll just get a load of listings done. Um, just see what I can get on, get loads of stuff on, and try and get some more sales. Because things, although they're picking up, I had from the 27th to the 29th, so from Saturday to, to to Monday, I had sort of seven orders, um, and that was including the 10 bowling pins for 85 and a single one for 11.95 plus postage. The 85 was including postage, so I still sort of get my money back. On the money I get back on those, would have paid for the whole lot again. So, um, so that was good. I picked up the bits off the video for a fiver yesterday. I'm going to list the old vintage shavers. I think they only go for tenners each, but I paid a fiver for that box. So whatever I get really above a fiver is is a bonus. It's just more stuff to put on. I'm going to pull some bits out of the bike that I got off Mike from reselling Life at Adventure. Because um, I haven't sold any of that yet. I need to get the separates on. I've got so much stuff I need to get on. I need to get some more CRT TVs on. It's just... I've been getting so much stock in. I haven't had, actually had much time to list everything and get it gone. Which um, is not a good thing. Because hence why I'm running out of space. Hence why my car's still full. Don't get jealous, George. I've got three of them now. Um, although it's not really the weather for them now, or, or a thousand pairs of sunglasses. So, yeah, just my luck. Although, I've heard today, it came up somewhere on, on when I was looking on my phone, came up that the heat wave's supposed to be coming back, but I'm not sort of, I'm not putting money on that. So, yeah, I've got all these sunglasses, and so far I've given, given away... Like a cup, two or three pairs to each of my, my lot that I live with, my family that I live with. And um, I'm going to tell my daughter I'm going to send her some for the kids and for herself. And my mate over the road came over and I've given him, I think they took two pairs each, him, his wife and their son. So I just said, take what you want. So yeah, I haven't sold any yet. I've got some on uh, eBay. I'm going to list some on Facebook today. I am going to get that done. Yeah, and we'll see how we go. So I'll see you back at home. All right, we're back. Um, but it's really rubbish out there today. And I've got my little lights down there on the go. So it's not much light and it's not great. But I'll just spin the camera now and show you exactly what it's like outside because it's not nice. It's wet and it's horrible. I want the sun back. Right, so the 10 bowling pins and the single bowling pin are going out today. 10 bowling pins by UPS, the single bowling pin by Hermes. I had this sell last night. It's a Sony PlayStation 2 power adapter. So that went for $7.95 and £3.10 shipping. Then this morning, this went. My £2 charity shop buy from my favourite charity shop. Two quid. That's gone for seventeen ninety five, including postage. Then the next one's going to be a pain. It's going to be a real pain. Next one is a DVD that I can't remember whether I paid for it or whether it come free. It's called Inside the Od Osmonds. It's brand new and sealed, nine ninety nine, including shipping. And it's see that stack there. That's where it is. So somehow I've got to get over there and get that one, which is not great. 
and then the final one I picked up yesterday with the um, Xbox uh, yeah with the 360 and I listed this yesterday when I got back with it and we were testing the Xbox it all works fine all works great and this is one of the games that come with it Call of Duty Black Ops 2 that's gone for 15.95 including shipping so say 160 say the 195 off say 14 quid uh, 14 quid don't know what it cost me really but the whole thing the Xbox uh, 360 with I think nine games came with it so most of them are scratched but this one's in really good nick um, cost me 15 quid for the whole thing so I've boxed up the actual connect edition so it's a um, some commemorative edition thing um, I'll put photos in if if I still got them on my phone to um to show you what it, what it was, um, yeah. So I've got that. So that's really that's paid for the majority of the actual thing. I've put it's probably only about another four quid, five quid to what four quid to get, and the whole thing's paid by one game. So um, two of the games actually go with the bundle got the thing out it's so clean it's immaculate there's a little leg missing off of one of the X on the X on Xbox but that must have been like that when it was made it must have come out like that because there's no way it's come off or oh, one of my cats is meowing at the door hello Rubes come on in come on You're wet, girly. You're wet. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that was a good pickup yesterday. Even if the the Xbox was uh, knackered, it was a good pickup, really. But it's not knackered. It works fine. Uh, it's got the white controller with it. Um, I've also got a black controller came with it, so I'll sell that separate. But I've got a damaged Xbox. Free set. Well, I don't know whether it's. I don't know whether it works or not. I showed you it. Um, in yesterday's video all I've got to try and get is a power unit I'll try it out with the one in that box try it out with the black controller and see whether that works um, if it works I'll just keep that one for trying disc because I'm not overly bothered about having a 360 I've got an Xbox One X so yeah so I've got that got that gone today that gone today the power adapter went yesterday and I've got that Osmond's one that I've got to try and do a mass rescue mission in a minute. So, yeah. Orders have picked up a little bit. So between Saturday and Monday there were seven orders. Another one yesterday. And then three today. Hello Ruby. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, the animals love coming down here and sitting with me. I wish they could do some work. It'd make my life easier. Um, yeah. So I'm going to get on and try and rescue that DVD over there, get that back, try and get these bits packed up. I've got the 10 bowling pins packed, I've just got to pack the other one. Ouch! And then, um, but the one's going Hermes and one's going UPS, so I can drop them at the shops later. But these ones I need to get done and get off to the shops now. Well, before five, it's 10 to 3 nearly now. Um, I've been taking photos for listings and I've listed a couple of bits like one of the old vintage shavers that I've got that I tested I've listed that I've listed a 22 karat gold plate pen and cuff link pen and cuff link set which is vintage um, I've taken all the photos ouch ow rubes I've taken all the photos of the PlayStation uh, the Xbox 360 so I've never bought anything um, game wise before or, or console I've bought the odd games but ouch oh, in claws but I've never bought a console but I'm going to deal with this cat and I'll speak to you in a bit well this is dreary people just been to my post office over there look at how dreary that is that's my mate's sweet shop 
sharp steel. This is just dreary as anything, isn't it? Yeah, that's my friend's sweet shop. So I was going to do a video in, but obviously I can't because it's shut. But yeah, happy weather. <laughs> So get a box for that. I forgot to get the boxes while I was out, and I've still got to get a box for the cap. And I've had another sale. Groove Motion Bluetooth Sports Headphones with Neckband and Groovy or something. So that's what's gone. These are good little headphones actually. And they were working, they were just returns. I've tested them, it's got all the, the charger and that's there. So it's got everything in it. So yeah, they went for uh, da 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 da. They went for ten ninety five and three pound ten postage. So I got that in my electric slot that I paid two hundred quid for. Pieces. I've got a Panzerfaust crate. I don't know if you watched my last video, but I've got a Panzerfaust crate in one of my sheds at the back, and I was gonna because it's got it's a it's a big crate um, with a nice hinge open lid, and I was gonna um, years ago now, a few years ago, I was gonna make that into a, a coffee table with a glass top and put some legs on it and stuff. My first live stream. Quite a nice, quite a nice army crate. Thought I'd get it out of the way. Right guys, seems like sales are back. I've just had this go. Right, it's new and sealed. I bought it the other day from my... Um, or maybe a week or so ago from my good charity shop with the free DVDs for a quid. All sealed up. Cost me 33 pence. And that's just sold... I think six ninety five, including. Let's refresh that. Yes, so that's that's just sold. Six ninety five, including postage. That's all right from thirty three p. Right, guys, it's uh. One minute past midnight, Wednesday the 1st of July. Um, just finished listing. Uh, I've listed some brass bits, like this old Oast House tea caddy spoon. This horse brass with the hooks on. These three little trinket pill box things. They're quite nice, it does open. Just trying to do it with one hand. I'll show that in a minute. Um, yeah, three of those. This Chinese plate, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. It's a heavy, heavy really heavy brass plate. Lovely design on it. Um, but I can't find out much about them. They, some of them go for sort of tenors. And then others go for 25s, 50s, or they go up to sort of like a couple of hundred quid. This one has got a signature on the back. But I don't know what that means. So yeah, it's an old, old plate, but I can't find out much about it at the moment. So that will have to be one for future. So yeah, I've done those, I've done the gloves, done the Legos, I've done some DVDs and stuff too, um, and I've done some vintage, other vintage bits. Right everyone, so yeah, that's enough for tonight I think. Um, so I'm just holding something up above my lights, so I don't go too bright. Well, that's the end of the night, so I don't really care. Yeah, that's one of them little pill boxes. Um, 
still got other stuff to list, loads of stuff. Tomorrow I'm going to try and do a load of electronics. I'm just going to try and stick to electronics because I've, I've done everything else today. Um, I might try and do this old camera tomorrow. Although I don't think they're worth much, to be honest. I think it's probably sort of probably 10 quid. Mm. Although I've got to try and fix it because the side keeps popping off. But I think that's the bit that you look through for the, for the image. See that? Read a side. So yeah, I think tomorrow's an electronics. And we'll see how we get on. But uh I'm absolutely knackered. Because obviously you have to go into things and find similar items and investigate them. And I've been using Google Lens, I've been using a scanner on um eBay. So yeah. Another full day, so it's ten, nearly 10 past 12 now, so I want to get this video um, uploaded, well, rendered and uploaded, exported or whatever. Oh, I can tell I'm tired. Did my first, um, my first live stream myself today, tonight, which was okay. There wasn't many people in, but then I've only got a few subscribers, so there's not going to be many people in. So, when I go on to other people's, so I'll tell them when I'm going to do a live stream, and hopefully they'll join me. And bring a load of people with us, with them. Um, so yeah, that's it for now, until tomorrow. So if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you like it. And if you do subscribe, hit that notification bell just so that you know every time I'm uploading a video, it'll it'll let you know that I've uploaded. Alright guys, that's it for now. I am absolutely beat and I will see you tomorrow. See ya.